lives. So I know most of you know that I was on hiatus from my channel for a good seven, maybe eight months at most. So I have tons of empties to show you guys. And I know I kept going back and forth about just tossing them and throwing it away because I wasn't sure about when I would be back again to be able to film. But I actually am kind of glad that I held on to my empty bottles just so I can share with them with you guys. But without any further ado, let me just get right into it because there's a ton of stuff here. So first off, I wanted to share with you guys, look how cute this bag is. There's tons and tons of donuts on them. I totally forget when I got this bag. I'm pretty sure it wasn't given to me. It probably was given to a family member or something. And um, I just saw the bag and I was like, um, if you guys are going to throw that away, can I just have it? Because I would love to keep it. And it's just such a cute bag. I love donuts. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's just get onto the empties. So first off, I have tons of candles that I burned through, and you guys know that I do like to repurpose these candles, so before I repurpose them, I wanted to be able to share them with you guys. So um, if you guys wonder how I do repurpose my candles that I um, get from Bath & Body Works, um, be sure to check out the video that I will link below for you guys, so you guys know how I take out all the wax and remove you know, the wicks and stuff and just use the little glass jars for other things. So the first one is um, a Christmas candle, and this one is in Merry Mango. Um, so it's described as a festive and fun, a merry mixture of juicy mango, mandarin, and a hint of champagne. It instantly gives your celebrations a tropical touch. So I absolutely love this one. I burned through two of them, I believe. Let me see. Yes, I burned through two of them. Really, really great. Um, I know that this one was from the holiday season last year, so I'm not sure if it's around. Um, so I definitely would check out um, any semi-annual sales or just check out um, the holiday time next year. Hopefully it will come back so you guys can pick it up because it is absolutely amazing and I would love to purchase more. Next I have um, a white, white barn candle. This is number three, Renew and Refresh. So you guys know I like really fresh scents. Um, so um, this one is just a really standard kind of, I don't know, refreshing scent um, as it's called. Um, let me see if it has the information here. So it says just refresh the scent and ambiance of your home with a blend of jasmine, fresh air, and a ton touch of mint. So just um, exactly how it's described, just a really nice refreshing scent. Um, I'm not sure if this one is still in stores, so I'm sorry about that. But um, if it is, it's definitely one that I would recommend you to check out if you do like fresh scents. And the last candle I have is Champagne Toast. So this says pop, clink, and sparkle with an effervescent blend of champagne, juicy nectarine, and black currant. So um, besides fresh scents, I do like fruity scents as well. Just um, ones that kind of, I don't know, just to me, they feel more refreshing. And you guys know that I like to um, lounge around on Sundays and light a candle. So just really light, fruity scents and just refreshing scents are ones that I go towards just to help unwind and relax. Next, I have a ton of face wipes that I've gone through. So first from Pacifica, these were the Natural Skin Care Purify Coconut Water and Cleansing Wipes. Um, I do remember using these. Um, I remember not really liking them that much. They were a little um, rough for my skin, but um, I did like the fact that they were um, really great, all natural, and um, it smelled like coconut water, very refreshing. It just felt a little scratchy on my face when I used them. And um, again, keep in mind that I do have sensitive skin. So any type of texture to a wipe, I usually don't like because I have just very sensitive skin. So these ones are definitely ones that I probably would not repurchase. Next from Ole Henriksen, I got these in a Ipsy bag a while back, and these were um, just all skin type, anti-aging, truth to go wipes. Um, they're gentle, moisturizing, age defying um, cleansing wipes. So I absolutely love these. They smelled amazing and they were super gentle and they worked really well on removing my eye makeup. I'm actually surprised for how long I've kept all these like empty items around that I still remember how well I really liked 
them. But Ole Hendrickson, great brand. I would definitely recommend these to you guys and I'll definitely um, want to repurchase them. I just kind of have to look up and see how much they were um, just so I can pick up another pack because I actually really, really loved these. Next, a classic go-to. These were Neutrogena, just their makeup remover cleansing towelettes. So um, these ones, I love Neutrogena. They're really great um, for your sensitive eye um, area and especially if you wear contacts like me. Um, they're really good at removing um, your makeup, any heavy waterproof makeup. They're really good at that as also just being really gentle on your skin. I absolutely love them. I've repurchased a ton of these. Um, I use these a lot. So I just wanted to keep one little pack to show you guys. Um, they're definitely um, more affordable makeup wipes. Um, they are a drugstore brand, Neutrogena, and they work really well. So absolutely love these. Next, I have the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. So um, again, having sensitive skin, the Simple line was something that really drew me in, um, saying, you know, they have no harsh chemicals, um, no artificial perfumes, anything like that. They're just really nice and simple wipes, as they are called. Um, these were great. I don't think they were that good at removing my heavy eye makeup, as I would have liked. So I usually had to go back in um, with another makeup makeup remover to uh, make sure all my eye makeup was removed but um they were, were really nice and gentle on my skin just you know not as good at removing uh, my heavy eye makeup and lastly from Modelco um, these were double-sided facial wipes so they were to exfoliate and cleanse so um, these ones also weren't as good at removing my heavy eye makeup um, but I did like them they had two different surfaces um, so one is smooth and that's the cleansing side and then the other side had little sort of bumps and that was the exfoliating side and even though it was exfoliating it wasn't too harsh on my skin um, but I really did like it so if any of you guys are looking for one that has kind of two purposes two different um sides to cleanse and exfoliate if you want a two-in-one product like that these are ones that i would definitely recommend continuing on with skincare i have an empty bottle of the neutrogena alcohol free toner so you guys know in my entire beauty routine toning is my absolute favorite thing to do um if even if i don't cleanse my face or exfoliate or anything i love toning my face like i'll basically splash my face with water and even if I don't want to go in with soap to scrub my face I'll still splash my face with water and tone. Don't ask me why but toning is just my absolute favorite step. Um, it probably has something to do with like you know putting it on a cotton ball and then I kind of just like you know tone my face and I kind of like looking at the cotton ball and seeing all the dirt and stuff being removed from my face. For whatever reason, I really like that. So this one, Neutrogena, absolutely love it. Um, a really great drugstore brand. Um, so this one is just gentle, non-stinging formula, and it just doesn't strip your skin of natural moisturizers because this one is alcohol-free. So um, if you guys, you know, don't want um, too harsh of a toner, something that just works really nice at, um, you know, toning your skin, um, but isn't too harsh. This is definitely one that I would recommend, especially if you have sensitive skin like me. Next, I have two bottles of It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. So one with keratin and one classic one without. So you guys know how much I love this. This is one of the first products that I sprayed my hair right out of the shower. Um, I actually don't have a bottle of this right now um, since I finished using it, uh, my previous bottle, but these are great. Um, so it does 10 things instantly. I'll go over them really quick. So, um, the one with keratin obviously has an extra step in it. So um, the keratin helps maintain um, keratin straightening treatments. And then it also repairs dry damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, and then it's also a flat iron spray and thermal protector. So lots of amazing benefits to using this and it's definitely great to spray right in your hair especially since i have to blow dry my bangs um, directly out of the shower um, this is just a great product to spritz in beforehand to kind of have that extra um, heat protectant element in there so that when i'm blow drying my bangs um, i'm still protecting my hair from the heat next i have an empty pack of almay i 
makeup remover pad so these were great it's just a little circle makeup remover pad that you kind of leave on your eye I left it for a few seconds and then kind of just wiped everything away so it's really nice and gentle um, on my eyewear if you are a contact lens wear and you do um, sort of wear you know just heavier eye makeup things that are waterproof um, this was really great at removing them so this one uh, claims to be the number one eye makeup remover brand in America. I don't know how true that really is, but um, I did um, like this when I was using it. So it was really great. Next, I have a empty bottle of my favorite hairspray. So this one is super light hold. Um, I have wavy coarse hair, but it holds my hairstyle usually very, very well. I usually don't have to use that heavy of a hairspray on it. So the Bedhead TIGI is one of my absolute favorites, and this one is the Spoil Me. So it is a defrizzer, smoother, and instant restyler. And how it works for me, it's kind of just more of a very, very light hold hairspray, and it smells amazing. Um, the Bedhead TIGI stuff always smells amazing, so um, if you guys were looking for something very, very light hold and just sort of defrizzing and smoothing, this is one that I would definitely recommend. Continuing with hair, I have a cream silk vitamin treatment that I used up. Um, I did get this from the Philippines for my dad. My dad went over there to visit for a business trip and he brought this back for me. Um, I loved the cream silk when I was in the Philippines um, to use to condition my hair and I was so excited when he brought this back for me um, to use. So. Um, for, I don't, don't even remember how long this lasted me, but I deeply moisturized my hair with a mask like this once a week. So um, I absolutely loved it. It made my hair feel really smooth and hydrated and just um, really great, really nourished. And um, I absolutely love it. It was really great. I'm kind of sad that it's only manufactured um, in the Philippines or in Asia as far as I know, but um, if I could get my hands on this stuff, I definitely would repurchase this. Next, I have a MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powder. So you guys know I use this for so, so long. It was my um, favorite go-to face powder, and I have the one in medium deep. So I would definitely recommend this to you guys if you did want to pick up a new um, face um, powder like this. Um, it was really great. Sorry if that never focused, by the way. Um, that's kind of why I took it away because I couldn't see it focusing. But yeah, definitely want to um, repurchase this um, when I finish the face powder that I currently use. Next, I have a NYX Matte Bronzer. So this one is in the color Deep Tan. So um, in the summertime when I'm a lot deeper, um, more tanned. Um, this is the bronzer that was my go-to and as you can see, absolutely, you know, I, it's gone <laughs> like completely. There was that tiny little piece at the edge, but it was a really great matte bronzer, um, especially in the summertime when you're naturally a little bit more tan. Sometimes I go towards things that don't have too much shimmer in it because, um, you know, you get sweaty and stuff and you just kind of want your bronze to seem a little bit um, more natural. So when you're applying a bronzer to your face, I kind of lean towards matte bronzers sometimes as well. But NYX, great brand, lots of great products. Um, I'm a little paler than I have been in summers in the past, so I'm not sure if this one would actually be too deep for me, but um, definitely would consider picking this up maybe in a lighter shade. They have a good shade range in the NYX matte bronzers, so I would definitely recommend checking them out. Okay, then I have a concealer. You guys know I've been using this so, so much. There's just that tiny, tiny little bit left. So um, this is by Benefit. Um, it has nice moisturizers on the edge and then you see the product right there in the middle. So I use the Benefit Fake Up in the color medium. I use this just to conceal underneath my eyes and also just kind of give them more of a brightening look. Um, this didn't crease on me. Um, I do have naturally dry skin, so I'm not sure how well it worked for other people, but for me, this really worked great. I have heard that it has creased up on other people, but for me in particular, it works really great. So I pretty much put it right under my under eyes and then I make sure to powder everything in place to prevent creasing right away. So if you're like me, who kind of has a more drier, normal skin, I would recommend this because it worked great for me. Next, I have a couple of mascaras. So this one, if you guys can remember, was gifted to be 
by one of my amazing subscribers in Malaysia and this one is the Majolika Majorca Lash Expander um, Edgemeister Mascara. So this one was really great. Look how crazy this brush looks. So this one came to me from Japan. Um, the formula is really nice. It has some nice um, kind of lash extending fibers in there and it worked really, really well. It gave my eyes a nice voluming as well as lengthening look. And if it was sold um, nearby, I would definitely pick up another um, mascara like this. And it's kind of just too bad that it's only um, sold in Asia. But also look at this packaging. It's like so awesome when I received this from her. Um, it was just amazing. Thank you so, so much um, if you're watching for sending this to me. I really, really enjoyed trying this out. Next, from a past Ipsy bag, I have my Bedelco um, mascara, and this is the Volumize one. This worked so great. Um, as you guys know, I like smaller um, mascara samples like this, so I can really just try something out and then see if I want to pick up a new size, um, a, a bigger size, as soon as possible. Um, but you still have this really nice uh, mini one while you're trying it out. You guys know that um, mascaras or just eye products in general are ones that you want to switch out pretty often. Um, their shelf life is usually around three months, so using a smaller sample like this is really going to help you decide what works best for you and your lashes. And this one is a really great, a volumizing one. Doesn't provide too much length, but if you just want some nice, full, lush looking lashes, I would definitely recommend this um, Medelco Volumize. And I swear I'm almost done. I know this is getting pretty long, so I have a bunch of, um, uh, eyeliners. So these ones are all of that felt tip or either brush tip type of eyeliners. So these two are more of a brush tip and oh, these are the same product. Awesome. So these are both Jessie's Girl. I did receive these from Ipsy and um, it just has a nice little brush tip on like so. And they're in my standard black that I always use. Um, you guys know I like brush tip or felt tip liner pens for doing my upper sort of cat eye. It just gives me more control over it. So I love that. And then I also have a Maybelline Master Precise. So this one works really well. The tip of this one looks like that. Really nice. Lots of control when I was using it. Absolutely loved it. And then I have from Ico London. I received this one in a birch box a long time ago. And this one, the tip looks like that. Um, it worked really well. Again, love felt tip um, liner pens. I love trying tons of new ones out. And then my go-to um, eyeliners. These are both by Revlon and it is their classic color stay. So I have a black one as well as a brown one. So I usually use black on an everyday basis, but if I'm going for a more natural, subtle, subtle looking eye look, I do reach for my brown one on occasion. So um, this is one I definitely like to use in the spring and summertime for some nice, softer um, makeup looks. And if you guys have never tried a brown eyeliner, I would definitely recommend it to you guys to try it and see how you like it on your face. But yeah, so that is it. My empties are finally out of my donut bag. And of course, I will be keeping that bag for future use. But yeah, that is it. Those are all my empties. I know this video is pretty long, longer than I like any of my videos to be. But yeah, thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and tuning in. Um, be sure to check out my last couple videos as well as the giveaways that are still going on on my channel right now. And yeah, I guess that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I will see you in a later video. Bye guys.